Your beliefs around business are fucking broken mm. and it's keeping you poor. When you think of entrepreneurship, you probably think of Gary Vee squawking or those unfortunate motherfuckers on Shark Tank who get ripped apart by Mr. Wonderful and Barbara, who's fine as hell. Didn't need that detail, but we're leaving it in. I'm gonna lay you in on a little secret. This making money thing isn't just for those types of people. I'm a little lazy. I scroll TikTok six hours a day and I still make money, which is why I know you can too. All without you having to build some massive company. In this video, I'm gonna prove to you, yeah, you, that you can make $10,000 in 60 days, even if you don't have this gift for business like you think you have to have. And you don't have to do it by going to 10 different garage sales every Sunday. And you definitely don't have to do it by getting verbally abused by Barbara, even though I might be into that. Part one, reprogramming your mind. Growing up, you were definitely programmed by all of your teachers at school who probably said you need all these credentials to start a business, you need all kinds of money, you need all kinds of office space and employees, and it's just a thing that is not realistic for most people. Everyone in your life up until recently on the internet told you it was hard, so it just never crossed your mind that you could do it, which is why you probably just ditched the idea entirely. So from that point on, you put yourself in this tiny little box that you can't escape from because other people told you that you can't. I bet you're still holding on to that one time your math teacher told you that you're bad at math and it's affecting your confidence for the rest of your life. Also probably the reason you'll have a girlfriend. You basically have to unlearn everything and subtract all of these limiting beliefs and get them out of your head because they are not serving you, okay? Part two, you already have everything you need. Back 100 years ago, if you wanted to start a business, you had to have a big old factory and you had to get a big check from guys with big old mustaches and cool suits if you wanted to have a business. Now, as long as you have one of these, you can start a business. At any point today, you can decide to start a business and literally start working on it that very moment. All a business is, is giving something to a person that they're willing to pay for. People are willing to pay for a lot of dumb stuff. So if you can create something that's like not that dumb, you can make some decent money. A buddy of mine from Europe makes millions of dollars a year selling stretchy, squeezy monkey toys on TikTok. Yeah, the stretchy, squeezy, silly, stupid fucking monkey toys. And he's making millions. The thing that I wanted to sell that was slightly less dumb than all the other dumb shit people buy is copywriting. Who's buying it? People with businesses, rich people. What are they buying? My skill that makes them more money. Do I need inventory from China? No. Do I need an office? No. Do I need employees? No. All I need are these fingies and a little laptop. The reason I like copywriting is because it's free for me to provide it. It's also free for me to learn it. You can go on YouTube, learn for free. If you have 16 hours to watch tutorial videos on YouTube on how this stuff works, then you will know more than most people will, and you can start charging for it. Once you know copywriting, as long as you have a website, a domain, an email address that's attached to your domain, and an Instagram account, you can start this business. You don't need permission from anybody else. A little side note here. Have you ever wondered how some people who have a lot of money are really dumb? The reason that is, is because they don't overthink. They don't have the same limiting beliefs that you do because they don't have any beliefs at all. Their head is empty. So these dumb people learn copywriting, do everything that I just said, those four things that you need. They start doing outreach and then they end up landing a client like two weeks and all of a sudden they're making two grand a month in their first two weeks. Why is that? It's because they don't even think of all the things that could be in their way. They just ignore all that stuff and they just do it in spite of it. And that's what makes them successful. If you're not that, Here's what's probably happening. You're probably scared that you're gonna mess it up, annoy people, waste people's time, waste opportunities, and you're just procrastinating. Most business owners don't know what's going on when they first start their business. So it's completely normal for you to feel in the dark. That's totally fine. You're gonna make money anyway. Part three, how I would get to 10K if I had to restart right now. But Mason, getting to 10K is so easy for you because you've already done it. Even if the IRS reached into my bank account and took all my money, which they might do, I would still be able to get back to 10K in 60 days, no problem. You probably have an app on your phone that looks like that. Instagram? And believe it or not, there's business owners that hang out there every day. As long as you don't spam the same DM to 100 people, you have infinite shots on net. You can send infinite amounts of DMs to people to pitch your copywriting services. By the way, if you want that DM script, I can give it to you right now. It's in a video. It's crushing for all my students and for me. Click that right there. Check it out. Remember those things you talked about at the beginning? Your website, your domain, your email, and your Instagram? 
that's your online presence. So that basically means that you have some proof that you are a copywriter and you exist online. To practice copywriting, which you absolutely need to do if you wanna be a copywriter, here's what you do. Just pick three random businesses out of a hat. Each of those businesses, I want you to go and read their copy. You can read it on their website, you can read their emails, you can read their ads, you can read their social media posts. That's all written by a copywriter. This is copywriting. This is what you're gonna be doing if you wanna do this. I want you to read that stuff for each of the three companies that you picked and then rewrite it as if you wrote it. Pretend they hired you to do the job and just rewrite it and that's your practice. That's your samples. That's gonna be the stuff that makes you a good copywriter. Chances are you're gonna learn this quick and once you do enough of these, you're going to feel confident enough to reach out to people because you know you can get results for them. That's where this little app called Instagram comes into play, which you probably have on your phone right now. Your goal is to send as many DMs to business owners as you possibly can. This is the hard part because you're gonna get a lot of no's. You're gonna get a lot of people telling you to leave them alone or just straight up no response at all. You can't get discouraged, this is supposed to happen. However, after sending 100 or maybe even 200 DMs, you're going to get a response from somebody that thinks they wanna work with you. This is good news, you're closer to the money. They're gonna respond and they're gonna be interested. They're gonna ask you to get on a call or you're gonna ask them to get on a call. And what this is gonna be is basically like a job interview with lower stakes. Because you think of a job interview as like this scary thing where they're judging you and deciding if you're gonna be a good fit for their company. In fact, it's the other way around. Business owners like this don't see you as like an employee. They see you as an expert who's reaching, reaching out to them, them and, and you're gonna partner, partner up and, and you're both, both gonna make money. money. So the sales call is really just you guys building relationships. 90% of it is just gonna be you guys talking, hanging out, learning more about each other and seeing if you're gonna actually enjoy working together or not. I would say like only 10% of the call is going to be about technical stuff and stuff you're actually gonna do for them. I know we're flying through this right now. I know there's a lot of information that probably feels like it's being left out. I'm gonna tell you where to find that in just one second. The biggest thing that I can tell you is that you are 100% going to feel imposter syndrome. You're going to think that you're not ready for this. You're gonna think that you have no business reaching out to anyone offering them a single thing. But if we rewind, you'll remember that the reason you think that is because you think business is Shark Tank. You think business is going to Wall Street in a suit asking for money to fund the next big thing. The reality is it's the 21st century. Nine-year-olds are starting businesses and making more money than you. You just don't need any of that stuff you thought you needed. And so if you have two brain cells to rub together and a laptop and you can learn a skill, you're going to make money and you should be making money. Turn yourself into a robot, put your fucking head down and get to work. It's gonna take volume. It's gonna take a lot of work, but it's gonna be worth it. You know why? Because making it feels fucking awesome. The feeling of making $10,000 in 60 days is unmatched. It's a thing that you have that most people don't have. It's also a thing that you can do again and again and again. And then at some point, that $10,000 doesn't take you 60 days to make it anymore. It takes you 30 days. And then it takes you 10 days. And then maybe it takes you one day. But it starts with this. It starts with the hard labor of going and reaching out to people and just being tough. Every week I do a free class on copywriting and it's a banger. It's about an hour long and I can teach you everything you need to know as quick as possible, even if you're starting from zero. So in the free class, we're talking about the opportunity that copywriting is. We're talking about why it's better than other business models. We're talking about where you're finding leads. You're talking about what to say to these leads once you hit them up. We're talking about how to get these leads on a call, how to close them, what to do after you close them, and then everything after that. So if you're interested in copywriting and you don't really know much about it and you wanna learn for free, just go to the free class, it's free. So here's my challenge to you. I want you to do something that can make you $10,000 in 60 days. That may sound impossible, but like I said, there are children doing this. There's absolutely no reason why you can't start something and make $10,000 in 60 days. It could be copywriting and I can teach you for free if you want. Maybe you wanna do drop shipping. Maybe you wanna do crypto. Maybe you wanna help old ladies cross the street and then ask them for a tip at the end and then offer her a tip. There are infinite ways to make money some of them are hard, some of them are kind of easy, but everything works, you gotta just pick one. I want you to comment under this video day one and tell everyone what you're gonna do. And then go on your phone, set a reminder, and come back and reply to your own comment in 60 days, say day 60, 
and then tell everyone how it went. And you can keep yourself accountable in the comments. You can see whatever else is doing. I know you're more than capable. I know you can do this. I know you can make $10,000 in 60 days, or at least make some sort of dent in the world in 60 days. Like, subscribe, Barbara Corcoran, hit me up.